Now in this week's Chicago Arts segment, dark alleys, neglected neighborhoods, abandoned buildings, places people typically avoid. But not one Chicago photographer. He seeks out the most neglected corners in cities around the country and transforms them into mystical works of art. The places that I choose are literally shunned. I mean, people do not want to go anywhere near them. The fact they are so out of the mainstream and the fact that they are so hated and, and feared is, is a big attraction to me. Photographer Xavier Nuez makes his living lurking in the dark, focusing on the depths of urban decay. Since 1991, he has been capturing images of desolation and abandonment, part of a series he calls Alleys and Ruins. Where most would bring police protection, Nuez brings a 50-year-old camera, some lights, a handful of colored gels, and a lot of courage. So I've been shooting this series for 22 years. And in that time, I've been privileged to be able to travel the country. In those years, I've been chased by gangs a number of times, and I've had guns pointed at me. The cops sometimes will threaten me to threaten to put me in jail. But danger and threats don't stop him. Nuez says this is in his blood and his family history, a childhood fear he's turned into a career. My father uh, spent time on the street. He was homeless as a as a teenager and um, I grew up listening to some of his stories. For me the great irony of my images is that they were created because of this deep-seated fear that I would end up homeless and this thing that I thought would drag me down and, and ruin my life in fact has done the opposite. Um, the thing I was most afraid of has in fact created the greatest successes in my life. So successful, in fact, that the New York Times has called his Alleys and Ruins series a masterpiece. He's captured images in cities across the country, New York City to Dallas, Compton, California, to Chicago's Pilsen neighborhood. Photos that leave you wondering, how did he do that? So what I'll do is I'll put the camera on a tripod, do 10 to 30 minute exposures during that time I'm shining colored lights on different parts of the scene and I combine my lighting with the uh, city lights through these you know very long exposures. That's my 50 year old Hasselblad film camera. It's been with me for 20 years, bought it secondhand and it's just I mean inc incredible quality. It's, it's a work of art in itself. Well I'm gonna be lighting the scene with various lights this uh, spotlight from this distance for it to to register properly i've got to be moving it at a you know at a certain rate yeah this looks good this looks good if i if i get a good polaroid it's rare so this is this is exciting like all the images in the series it's going to look like a theatrical set and it'll be the fantasy version of this place i think i'm i think i've got a winner here